This week, we celebrate Shark Week by catching sharks and the lovely ladies of Bite Club. This episode of Scam School brought to you by Ting. Welcome to the only airline where the flight attendants give you drinks for free and all the pilots know how to eat fire. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and I don't know if you noticed, but it's freaking Shark Week. To celebrate, we have the lovely ladies of Bite Club. Come join us as we go fishing for sharks in our drinks at the bar, which doesn't make a lot of sense. Boom. This is fantastic. We got Stephanie Chu and Shannon Moores of Bite Club. We're only missing Eileen Rivera, who used to produce this show. But tell me about Bite Club. Bike Club is your all fantastic news about all the fantastic shows. Did right. you say? Everything did you say fang? Fang Did you, you say fantastic? Can hear Eileen say it every week on our show. We cover True Blood, Vampire Diaries, Twilight series, Walking Dead. Pretty much everything things. that bumps and bites at <laughs> night. That is awesome. Yes. Now, uh, how, well, so yeah. So if you cover Walking Dead, it's not you know. I guess I guess you bite. I guess yeah, yeah, I always thought bite just meant vampires. Bites. All right. Yeah. Werewolves. Where you know what else bites? What? Sharks. Oh. Sharks! That's why we had you out here. For those of you guys who don't know, watching at home, uh, Scam School is now part of the, the Discovery family, and this week is Shark Week, so we decided to have a whole Shark Week theme, so we had the lovely ladies of Bite Club. Are you gonna start, we're gonna have to pay royalties on the music if you do it. So here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna play a little game. So all these little ice cubes, these are the sharks, okay? We're gonna go fishing for sharks. So many, little So many, Brian, be careful, don't let them bite your hands. And I got this uh, ball of yarn to occupy you That's while I fill this up. <laughs> I did not expect you to actually start playing. With that. So here's the game. The plan is I'm gonna give each of you guys a piece of string here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this in half. Normally I'd use scissors, but instead I get to look like some kind of. That is mahogany. That's <laughs> Each of you guys take a string, okay. and we're gonna make a kind of a lasso situation here. We'll tie just a little loop. Do you know how to do a little slip knot loop on there? I'm glad you did mine. That's okay. Good. <laughs> so I made a little slip knot loop. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll set yours I up as well. Or not, but... That's fine. As long as you make a loop in there, and you can tighten it and make it so that you have an adjustable size loop. I'm gonna let you so kind we're of gonna, we're gonna fish uh, for arrange that. Yes, that. you're gonna fish for sharks, and the first person to successfully pull out mm -hmm. a shark from the sea. Of water there. There we go. On the loose. <laughs> See, that's more. Mine. There's more royalties. No we're royalties. gonna have to. <laughs> Is it royalties if you sing a karaoke? Uh, you know what? I think we had to deal with that issue when we shot at a karaoke bar <laughs> you once. Can't even sing make it wet. Happy birthday. There we go. Yeah, you can make it wet. Uh, but the only thing is, you can't. You can't touch. You can't touch the sharks. Okay. Oh, okay. No, no touch it. Yes, you can, and you can't dangle. See, wait, there you go. Oh, All right, yeah. go ahead. Go nuts. Try whatever you want. First person to get a shark gets a free beer on me. Oh my goodness. Oh. Wait, so we can't poke in the water. I can't punch no, in the water. No, see, that's a tough thing, right? It just sits on top. Does it? Does it? Does it? Does it, Brian? Does it? Does it? Can I? She's maneuvering the cup. Is that allowed? I can maneuver the ocean. I think you can maneuver the ocean. Ah. I don't see any reason why not. Can I'll I tell use you what. props? I'm going to say, uh, <laughs> you, don't, you, you don't need to poke no, no, no. anything with it. And I can do it without touching the cup or touching the ice Thank sharks. You. Oh, no. No, Show off. it's impossible. <laughs> Physics. Lies. Noise. You can't poke with a wet ah. noodle. Ah. No, you no, ass. you get away from my sharks. <laughs> Give me yours, this, just so it's even. Is this the case where the sharks are always greener on the other cup? <laughs> okay. Oh, I have a fin. Wait, that is not a, that's not a regular shaped ice. That is a claw shaped ice, which is not. Yeah, a, wow, I didn't plan on the claw so shaped ice. You have to get, you have to, you have to fish it all the you way out. You do have to get it up. And, <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what, what shape of ice we'd have. This is interesting. Uh, Shinto's. It, that is, it's like a bear claw shapes ice. Ah! I feel like this is a waste <laughs> of <laughs> This is turning out so much better than I dared hope. Uh, it's <laughs> not working. How do you make it work? See, I'm it's having the fair. issue of this knot is. <gasps> oh, oh! I made it move. No touchy. No touchy. Do I have to start over? It? Brian's oh, watching shoot. closely because I'm getting. Closer I feel like you guys are dangerously close here. I may be out a beer. Dangerously. See, oh, I don't know if that's a real song. If we have oh, to pay royalties this. on it. I'm lassoing in. Oh. oh. So close. Oh, 
close. Dominance. Wait. You do. You do have fins like a shark. I have Yours fins. looks like a, a row like, of sharks. Don't know sharks. <laughs> Seems legit. Watch this. See, don't this me? is good. You got like the noose action. I'm Okay, I think that oh, that's the sound. I heard it in your voice. The annoyed, the annoyed. It's this moment when your frustration you gets higher than your desire to get free beer. I don't want the shucks anymore. All right, all right. You ready for the answer? Yeah. We yeah. gotta thank our sponsors. All right, hands in the air if you're the guy who's totally excited about selecting your pricing plans on your mobile platform. Anyone? No, you know why? Because it totally sucks. You never know how much data you're going to use. I don't know how many minutes I'm going to talk. I don't know how many text message. What am I, a mind reader? I guess technically that's what we do on Scam School. But the point is, it's the folks over at Ting who got it figured out. You don't have to guess in advance how much you're going to use stuff. Instead, it automatically scales your plan to how much you use it. The website has this beautiful interface that breaks down your usage in megabytes, texts, and minutes. And you can check anytime, find out how much you're using, if you don't use it a bunch, you don't have to pay a bunch. It scales down to your use. It's run by the folks over at Two Cows, and these guys are honest geeks who love their technology. They don't want to screw you. They just want to provide you with amazing service and make you pay the right amount. So head on over to scamschool.ting.com and check it out. When you sign up, you'll get yourself $50 towards the purchase of your mobile device. What a crazy idea. You don't get ripped off. Ting. You guys are going to hate me and you're going to hate yourselves because the moment you see how to do this, you're going to realize that you already knew it and you learned it back in third grade. No. Da, da, da. You didn't say we da, da, could da, use da, da. the salt. I didn't say you couldn't use the salt. I said props. I was going to use the straw. I said I said you could you could use it but you can't poke anything, I think is what I said. I think that's very high end. You think this is very high end? It's really salty, Brian. So basically what happens is, if you don't remember your third grade science, your earth science, what happens is, is when salt hits the ice, it temporarily melts the ice and lowers the temperature to below freezing. So then it refreezes. Oh, oh wait, do I have it? Do I have it? Do I have it? What? what? And how can this no, be? So here's the thing, a lot of people know this one. So you may get somebody who actually solves it, but the key is to set up red herrings. A lot of the best tricks on Scam School are super simple, but the reason they work is because you add those little touches. By taking the time to make a big deal about what kind of knots you're allowed to do, set up a slip knot and you are allowed to do this through, it just, it leads you down, the farther you can lead them down that path, the more it'll totally blow their minds or annoy them, annoy the hell out of them really, when you go with something as obvious as, Seventh grade earth science. Yeah, there we go. Not even a nut. All right, here, let me show you guys a bonus trick. This will be fun. Did you guys see the episode of Scam School where we talked about marked cards? Of course. See, so you clearly have not. <laughs> well, you know what the idea is, right? You put little tiny markings that are difficult to detect up in the corners, right? Yes. Now, people who are really good at using marked decks of cards, as fast as I'm running through the cards right here, face up, that's how fast they can recognize the cards face down, wow. right? And the not markings can be like crazy subtle as well. Uh, for example, here, let me take, um, yeah, there we go. You actually don't have to mark all of the cards. Of these four cards, only one of them is marked. See if like you can on spot. The, on the back, On right? the back, right there. So see, see, I'm gonna go through them. See if you can see which one of these is marked. That one, that one. No, I don't see anything. You don't see any of the, on any of them? I mean, if I'll you tell you this. to put them all out, I probably could, but. Well, that's the thing is you very rarely get to see them compared to another. I'll tell you what, out of all of them, the only one that's marked is the king of uh, the king of space. Where's the, where's the mark? Well, because all of these, there's nothing on the back, but the king has a very tiny, little, very subtle little hex on the back. And in you fact, if you were paying it, all the cards are marked. I'm surprised you guys didn't what? notice that from the very beginning. Oh, gosh. I guess we just owe you a beer, don't we? It must be the beer. Yeah. First and foremost, want to give a huge thanks to Shannon Moores and Stephanie Chu for joining us from Bite Club Show. Make sure to check out their show as well if you like things that bite, kind of like sharks. By the way, if you want more sharks, head on over to sharkweek.com. You never know, I might make our new puppet masters over at Discovery very, very pleased with you and thus pleased with me, which would be good for me. 
Love you, Discovery. Also, do me a favor and suggest your favorite bar scan by writing me directly at brian at revision3.com. See all 250 episodes of Scam School at scamschool.tv. Follow the show at twitter.com slash scamschool or be my personal BFF at twitter.com slash schwood. Don't forget to join us next week because we're going to be presenting Scam School in glorious black and white. It'll be artistic. It'll be important.